What's up guys, KDub175 back with another Pokemon Duel video, and as you can see the Queen's Cup is still going on. Um, we are getting up there pretty high, 181st, it's been going on for a little while now, we have 9,516 points, so pretty much only going to need two, maybe, yeah, three more wins, uh, depending if we get challenged by uh, Carolyn, so I don't think we're going to have any problem getting into the top 3,000. Uh, I feel like we're pretty much secured. Uh, I refilled my energy probably, I want to say, about five times. But uh, I wasn't really keeping track. But, I mean, look at these guys. 43,000. It's just not worth the gems. But all we need left, guys, is that EX cube. Let me know in the comments. Have you already got your EX cube? How many times have you refilled your energy? Or are you going for that EX cube without spending a single gem? It, it definitely is possible. But it appears that it's going to be really tough. Like, you're going to have to be on point with using your energy, not wasting a single minute, always keeping it refilling from the moment you get up till you go to sleep and wake up again, probably setting your alarm in between, right? But, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to go that hard. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't consider myself a huge whale. I have bought, I bought gems, obviously. But I wouldn't consider myself a whale. Maybe a dolphin. Let's let's just go with a dolphin. <laughs> but I have a pretty awesome video for you guys today. I have a match that I already had recorded. It was from a room match. I was trying to test out that deck, if you guys remember from one of my previous videos. Trying to get the evolution, the full evolution for Lunala from Cosmog. And I dropped the Phantom Energy Plate. I'm not really sure how I feel about it at this point though. But it was a really insane match. The first time I tried it out, it was like a 3,000 ranked player, which, you know, is respectable. But I wanted to try to find a higher ranked player, so, like, just so I could see if it could stand up in league. Um, you know, I'm, a, like, above 3,500 now, so I wanted to try to find somebody at least 3,500 plus. So I was able to find somebody who was 3,700. But yeah, I could drop a double chance out of this deck and put Phantom Energy. Uh, maybe I could drop, uh, you know, drop the Cosmog again and put in the Seismitoad and try to go for the Blaziken Evolution. You know, I'm not really sure. Uh, that's why I'm still testing it out. But um, I do enjoy trying to get that full evolution on Lunala. But I do have that video. It's a pretty insane match, guys. So definitely leave a like if you enjoy it. I think you're definitely going to enjoy it. Um, I, I have a pretty good idea for the thumbnail, so you guys already seen what the thumbnail is. Let me know in the comments what you think of that. But well, we're going to jump into the match, guys. Oh my god, a full electric deck, guys. This dude, 3700, full electric deck. This dude is like, this is the Phantom Energy counter deck if I have ever seen one, man. This dude's like a, uh, he's like the freaking Ghostbusters over here. <laughs> Uh, man, this is going to be a tough match, guys. Tough match. All right, he's got the counter attack, too. Double Coco. It's going to be really annoying. I'm going to go defensive with the Coco. Just, there's no reason to go offensive with it because he can block me off. And he's got the Electro Energy, so... I don't know, guys. This this could be going bad, but this is going to be a really good test to see if this deck can hang, hang with the big boys. If this can hang with the big boys in the top tier league. So I'm going to go with the Gengar, try to see if we can get him to make a misplay, go make a Gengar, and um, try to just cheese this one out. <laughs> okay, he's going to go. So we're basically going to get a free entry point. Um, there's no need for me to go make a Gengar. I can just move up to this corner here. Yeah. And he has to cover the goal, or at least move the Magneton in one space. So then I get the entry point for free. Okay, that was a pretty good play, actually. Gets another figure out, but, um, hmm. He's probably going to come out with the other Coco, and... So he's going to have, like, four to... He's going to have four figures out, and we're only going to have two, so that's not great. Okay, he's going to go into the center, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. He's, he's staying pretty defensive. So let's go ahead and get the Cosmog back here. I'm not really sure what the best way to use Cosmog is. I like the idea that, you know, I could teleport into the goal not being surrounded. But I also like the idea of being able to hang back on the goal and not be surrounded. So, um, 
And then it's like, you know, free max revive for our Lunala, so you cannot beat that. You cannot beat that at all. Okay, so... We're gonna have to go with Lunala, guys. This is... <laughs> if he lands Thunder Crash, it's, it's gonna be pretty bad. And it's risky for me to even move forward and attack him, because then we get surrounded by his Coco. And we gotta cover the goal with our Coco or Cosmog. And Okay, so he's going after the Gengar. Hopefully we hit Dodge. He could hit Roost. Ooh... Too bad we we didn't hit our damage there. That was our opportunity to knock that Zapdos out. So now we're risking getting surrounded. Um, let's see, he's got 110. We're, I'm going to have to go make a Gengar, guys. I, I definitely want to get the Zapdos knocked out. This is a strong team, guys. This is pretty similar to the uh, deck I remember seeing N Chaos run. I don't know if any of you guys watch him stream on Mirror TV. Oh my god, of course you hit Roost. <sighs> okay. But yeah, he uh, he streams on Mirror TV quite a bit. And I think he has two Raikou. Oh wow, he's got a level 8. I like it. He's got one chain level on each. Uh, definitely thinking about the buff from Coco and the Electro Energy. I'm going to go ahead and attack again. Whew, okay. At least he does not hit his Thunder Crash. That's why I hate attacking Zapdos with uh, Mega Gengar, because I always hit my Toxic into his Thunder Crash. But yeah, on that Magneton, that's a pretty good idea, having the uh, one chain level into the 60, because then it'll be like a 61, uh, 71 with the Electro Energy, and then a 101 with the Coco buff. So I'm going to double chance this time, because, you know, just don't want to risk anything. <laughs> of course, of course, you use the double chance and then you hit what you want the first try. That's just how it goes. Um, that electrode isn't. I don't know. I mean, Lunala's able to knock it out. It's a pretty good matchup, but if we get paralyzed, that that's gonna suck. So let's. Hopefully, we can knock this Coco out. Come on, let's go. All right, get out of here, Coco. So we got two knockouts, guys two knockouts we still have all of our figures on the board we're staying relatively close in time only down by 20 seconds which if you guys have been watching me for any point in time you guys know that i'm always way behind on time so uh, he's probably gonna max revive the zapdos okay because he does he still has his coco back next to his goal so double coco is pretty strong Ooh, and he gets it look at that 140 man that's just that's sick 140 is sick. All right, let's go into the center to try to keep him from moving up and attacking our Kimbuskin. Okay, so he's playing really defensive. V Sam C. I'm not sure if there's a V uh, clan. I've, I've never seen V. I don't think I've ever seen this player. Let me know in the comments if you guys know who this player is. They're obviously really good. 3,700, so... Um, let's just move up and attack this Raikou, man. Try to get the, get a knockout. Like, we have to be a little... Nice. Nice. There it is. Okay. Yeah, we have to be offensive. Because with that Coco buff, man, he's just going to destroy us. And we got pretty lucky on that, actually. The Sableye coming in clutch for us. Boy, oh boy. All right, let's block off the Zapdos. And hopefully he's not able to knock out our Coco because he could literally just come down and wipe out our whole team. Like, every figure that I had back here on defense. Okay, come on, Coco. Hit that Melly Melly Wish. Ah, oh, Boy. <laughs> All right, this is, uh, is going to be tough, guys. This is going to be really tough. I'm just going to move in with the Cosmog. I mean, really, any figure that I put in front of this Zapdos, it's just going to get destroyed. Okay, but he's he's going to take the entry point. So I'm going to move up, try to maybe knock out this Electrode, the Magneton. Um, I could really knock out any of these figures. Okay, hopefully he roosts. Now, we cannot surround him, so there's really no punish for him coming. Oh, and he gets the knockout. It's so annoying whenever a Zapdos is just continuously landing that Thunder Crash. Okay, hopefully he lands his Thunder Charge and we can land our gold and just knock him out. And then we can pick off one of these figures just waiting.
to get Cyclone Kick to the PC. Okay, he's not taking any risks. Yeah, no risks at all. Oh my god. Bro. Stop landing Thunder Crash. That's too OP. Alright, now we have to gold block the Combuskin. We're not going to get our evolution just yet, boys. And this could be pretty much a game. If he knocks us out. Because I don't have X speed. So, normally I would X speed the Lunala. Okay, but he's not even going to attack. He's going to give us a chance. Alright, I'm going to go defensive with the Lunala. Because, like I said, if we can land our Moon Geist or land our White on White, that's a solid knockout. He's going to straight up an attack. Come on. Oh, and he gets the Thunder Wave. No. But we can still knock out that, um, the Electrode. So, I'm, you know, as of right now, I'm not worried about it. But should we have to attack that Zapdos? I'm going to... I'm trying to think here, guys. Um, I think I need to bring Coco into the center here. Because that way, if he does knock out our Buskin, then we can go ahead and just cover the goal again. Okay, he's going to take the entry point. I think now's our opportunity. I could attack with Lunala or the Coco. Either one's a good matchup. Maybe I should go with the Coco because I do have some uh, gold. Um, yeah, let's just go for it, guys. Let's go for it. Hopefully, we can hit our gold. Gold beats everything. Okay, that works, too. Nice. Now, good thing we did not have Electro Energy. If we had Electro Energy, we would have just got knocked out there. Because I believe anything 101 or higher. Okay, so he's just going to cover the goal. Let's go ahead and take his entry point. All right, so now it's a little bit even. Not quite. <laughs> not quite because our Coco into his Coco. Yeah, we're still going to have a tough time trying to knock that thing out. Okay, he's going full defensive. Now's our opportunity to get Gengar out here. But he's 110, so we can't knock him out with Gengar. He's going back in for it. He's going back in for it. We've already used our Mega Gengar, guys. Oh, Lord. But we get the weak spot, so he cannot take the goal just yet. So let me try to think what I want to do here. Um, I'm going to Max Revive. I'm going to Max Revive the Combuskin. Now, this he's landed too many Thunder Crashes, guys. All right, so I'm, I'm taking a huge gamble here. All right, I'm going to go here. The next turn, I'm going to have to cover the goal with Lunala and just pray to Arn Jesus. Pray to Arn Jesus that he does not land Thunder Crash. Hopefully, this deters him to get out of here. That was kind of the plan. I, I don't want him attacking my goal anymore. So, like, hopefully, he just soars back over Kimbuskin, lands on the entry point, and then, okay, he's going to attack the Lunala. Come on, please. Please hit something else. Nice, finally. The Thunder Charge. Okay, now we're going to be able to get the surrounds. See, that was the plan, guys. Like I said, it was pretty risky. Maybe I should have put the Gengar where I just put the Gengar. And then that way I, I could have a little bit of extra backup. But I wanted to get a knockout. And like I said, I was like it was a big gamble. I was betting on the fact that it's like, come on, how many Thunder Crashes can you hit in a row? Hitting two in a row is pretty unheard of, let alone just... One, two, three, four, five, you know. Come on, Melly Melly Wish. Oh, the miss, bro. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I kind of messed up with my Raikou. I got him to level four, and I leveled up the 110. Okay, yeah, that thunderous blow. That's I, I think everybody's been saying that's pretty much what you want to level up on the Raikou. All right, so I'm going to double chance here, guys. Hopefully, we can hit Cyclone Kick into anything but blue or gold. He's got a lot of white and a miss. Woo! Okay. Come on, Kimbuskin. Let's do it, boy. Oh! Man, I can never get that double chance Cyclone Kick. Arn Jesus has not been kind to us, guys. We have been... Like, look. He's got full defense on his back line. Three figures that... Are pretty good defenders. You know, a lot of blue, and then we could get frozen from the Magneton. But thankfully, we have our Coco ready to block off that Raikou so he cannot attack our Lunala. 
Nice. Melly Melly Wish. I like it. Okay, we don't need to take it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Sableye. Go right here. And then if our Coco gets knocked out, then we can just replace it with the Sableye. And, oh my... How many misses is that now, guys? <laughs> Has, have any of you guys been keeping track? I just, I know it's been a lot. I feel like I've missed quite a bit already. Oh, man, and he's got like 40 seconds on us now, so. Cold in the purple. This Raikou is just destroying us. Okay, I'm going to have to go over here with Gengar. <sighs> now, if he hits his... 50, we should be able to win. Or we can hit Moongeist into his white. Another miss. But we had a pretty sizable miss, I guess. I'm right, gonna cover up the goal again. So he needs to hit his bite. Oh, thank God. Okay, good job, Gengar. You hit the dodge, buddy. That's good. All right, so now we're going to go with the Combuskin, just straight up and attack. Try to get this evolution. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Boom. Look at that. Evo Blaziken. 141. A four-star Cyclone Kick. Now, it's time for us to just run through his team, right? Though, we'll probably just jet kick our first chance and do something and get destroyed. So, um, yeah, the, we don't want to hit Flare Blitz into his... Uh, Okay, um, I'm trying to think here. Like, how, how am I going to get through this defense here? I'm going to go ahead and bring the Cosmog up. Maybe we can hit Nebby's power, and we can pull our Lunala out, get an evolution into the Cosmo. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move up. He may try to get that evolution. Yep. Please don't knock us out. Oh, nice. Good job, Coco. We get the clutch Melly Melly Wish. All right, I'm going to move over with the Cosmog. Try to get that Nebby's power. Try to bring our Lunala out. Come on, let's go. Oh, but we get the teleports. All right, um, right, I'm just going to move back over here. He does have counterattack. He has counterattack, so I'm going to have to remember that. Oh, my God, another miss. <laughs> what is with these misses, guys? Holy crap. Here comes the Magma Zone. The thing is a beast. I miss my Magma Zone, guys. I really do. I, I love running that Magneton with the Coco and getting that uh, evolution. Because you're pretty much, yeah, you're guaranteed to hit 130. And then when you have the Coco, um, 160, that thing beats everything. Like any other physical damage. I don't think, like Metagross has that 150. I think it may even beat uh, Mega Blastoise. I, I think Mega Blastoise hits for 150, right? All right, come on. Let's hit that Nebby's power, guys. Come on. Oh, we hit the splash. That uh, that really sucks. But our Sableye is a pretty good matchup for this uh, Electrode. And it's not a bad matchup for the Magna Zone either, to be honest. Oh, wow. He's going straight. So he's hoping for the Flare Blitz into the Thundershock. Nice. Jet Kick actually getting a knockout? All right, I'm going to move over here. Let's go ahead and get our Lunala out. So now we have some pretty good defense. This is... Wow, this match is insane, guys. This has been going, like, all wrong, but somehow we've been able to maintain our, uh, our position to not just straight up lose. We've won the right rolls. Like, when we needed a clutch spin, you know, even if it, that just meant going neutral, it, it worked out for us, so... I'm going to move up with the Blaziken and just try to Cyclone kick the crap out of these Cocos. Maybe Flare Blitz is probably a, uh, a better move. I'm going to move over here with Lunala and attack before he gets a chance to get the buff. Oh, but we hit the purple. Come on. All right. I think I might have to backtrack and try to attack that uh, Magna Zone. We can knock it out, white on white. We have gold. We can cyclone kick him. Come on, come on, let's... Okay, he hits a miss. All right, awesome. We really needed that, so we have some pretty good defense. 
Though we have a lot of purple, and that Zapdos is pretty scary. Okay, he's moving right in. Hopefully he hits Roost. Oh, he hits Miss. Uh, maybe I could leave him. He's confused, but he'll probably just hit the uh, Steel Wing, right? So we got to take the knockout, guys. Got to take the knockout. And then now we can try to start advancing. Like, we need to start putting some pressure on his goal. This whole time, we have not been able to pressure his side of the board. All right, come on. Let's get up here. All right, we're down like, you know, 22 seconds. All right, don't get lucky. Don't get lucky. Oh, phew. That was so close. That's like right on the line. I wonder how it decides, like when it's right on the line. I think it's just a visual though, guys. Because like, I don't know if you guys remember me saying, but I mentioned if you watch featured duels, try this. Watch a featured duel and whenever you see somebody attack, hit stop. Watch the battle. Look really close at the wheel. Uh, I'm going to move up here and attack. Yeah, look really close to the wheel. Come on, let's get this knockout. Nice. Look really close to the wheel, guys, and see exactly where it lands. Then rewind it and rewatch the battle a few times. And you'll notice it's only a little bit of a difference, but it's not in the same spot. It, it lands in slightly different spots. So, oh my god, and then he gets a miss. It was that double miss on the Magna Zone, man? Now that feels pretty bad. All right, so... Like, this match is just turned around, guys. Holy crap. Okay, so, yeah, we can't take it. So, I'm going to move over here. Um, I don't know, man. He probably should have attacked. Because he has the Electro Energy. I don't know why he wouldn't have attacked right there. Because he would have still hit 7. Oh, low power. Don't, don't want to lose out on... Uh, don't want our phone to die. We should be fine, though. All right, I'm going to move right here. I'm just going to end turn. So this might be game, guys. This could be game. All right, so I'm just going to move up. And hopefully hits Melly Melly Wish. I don't know. Like We could get knocked out here, but come on. Let's go. We, we got our butts kicked this whole match, and we came back somehow. Nice. Melly Melly Wish. <laughs> He's just like... Screw it, yeah. Oh, that's cool. All right, we'll give it to the Coco. Wow. GG v Sam C, man. That was an insane match. Wow. That deck is so strong. I have no idea, guys, how we came back from that. Um, we were able to get the evolution on Kimbuskin, which was really awesome. Our Cosmog missed our opportunity to hit that Nebby's power. We only had a few chances. So the Cosmog didn't really come into play at all it was just really something to move around on the board but um yeah i don't know guys this team seems to be doing pretty well i do miss the phantom energy i do like the idea of being able to bring more pokemon from the bench onto the field and with nala with the burn the toxic from mega gengar the sableye and then if we do get the evolution into blaziken we do leave a burn with the flare blitz but let's be honest, like, how often are you going to get knocked out when you're landing on 141? Not very often. So, I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this team. I know some of you guys are really good at crafting decks. Um, I feel like it needs something. It needs something. I'm not really sure. I'll keep testing. But leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to be it for this one. Definitely subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter, guys. Uh, tag me in some screenshots. I post things that I don't always share on the channel. If you don't use Twitter, just leave a comment below. And until the next one, later, guys.